most people are scared for our van instead of the other way around. No, that's not true. Most people think we sell ice creams. Yeah. <laughs> or drugs. <laughs> or drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday we had three people asking if we sell drugs. Hello! We are Sandra and Jor and we are traveling in our hippie van with Butch. Uh, yes, our kitchen we have a two burner stove on which we normally have uh, the plate that is now a table outside. We have a sink with running water. We only have cold water because we just boil some water if you want hot water and um, then we have some drawers which are always messy so I'm not going to show you that <laughs> and we have a very very tiny fridge this fridge is 42 uh, liters I think and it fits kind of everything we even can make ice cream have ice cream and then we have the food storage over here which is messy always it's always messy in this van. Actually, it's quite clean right now. Oh, this one. This goes over here. And now we still have a lot of countertop space, which we really like because it's so tiny. 2019? Yeah. We were uh, with our tent and our tent broke down and then we saw this cute little Volkswagen converted. And then we thought, oh, maybe we should do it ourselves. Yeah, we thought, okay, that, that might be funny. So we started thinking about it and we had a very tiny uh, Peugeot partner. So we, uh, we built a very micro camper in the back. In two weeks I finished it. And it, it was okay, it, it, but we could sleep in it uh, diagonally <laughs> and, <laughs> and a little bit like this. So it was not perfect. It was nice for a weekend off, but not for... Uh so then we For decided, okay, we need to buy a bigger van and um, that's this one. And we converted it in three months. Yeah, in three months. And then we traveled with it for seven weeks. And then the whole idea of full-time van life uh, started to happen. Yeah. Our bathroom is behind this cushion. Take it away. And then this is it. We have some baskets we can take out. Actually, there can fit quite a lot of in it. In it but if we need to be there, it's always like this. <laughs> uh, we have a toilet with uh, bio fluids because we don't want to uh, have that much waste and uh, we don't want the chem chemical waste. But we are not completely happy because it smells quite a lot. Um, so in our next van, we definitely want a composting toilet. Well, if you shift this over here, ow, <laughs> that doesn't happen every time. We just slide our mattresses and then we sleep over here. The bed is 120 to 180. For two people, small people, it's a right fit for a fan like this. Uh, when we go to the summer, then it's good, but with wet, wet weather. It's just too small for my bag and our relationship, basically. I always say we have a good weather camper. Yeah. <laughs> it's just for rainy days, it's not good. And uh, also when it's windy, you, you, you sit inside a lot. Uh, even now we are camping in the Canary Islands and at night it gets uh, cold quite easily, uh, quite fast. So we sit in the camper more than we thought we would. So, especially me, for him it would be fine, but for me, I want, uh, I want more space, we want uh, an to area... To buy more clothes. Huh? You want to buy more clothes, basically. That too. But we also <laughs> want an area to sit, and then after we can go to bed and not first convert the whole bed, and then when you're laying, you think, oh, I want to sit again. Uh, we have a closet over here. I didn't want a drawer where I need to dig in my clothes, so we have a double closet. It's very big. 
this one. This side is mine. This is also mine and this is from Jorian. So we can bring a lot of stuff and Jorian doesn't like me. You oh, and there is stuff. even more clothes under the bed. I think it's my crazy mind because I wanted a lot of stuff and even more stuff and then fluffy ceiling and... I basically and say yes to everything. Yeah, and then... Okay, we can do that. Yeah, and then he built it. But it was a lot of things my idea. We were thinking about the fluff because we had very much round corners and I didn't know what to do with it because wood would be a lot of work. So we thought, okay, we do some fluff on the corners. And then we thought, okay, now we can do fluff on the ceiling as well. So it kind of went from bad to worse. And then we had too much left, so we d even did the front. I had uh, depression build up for over 10 years. Uh, I got a knee surgery and it just completely broke me because I wanted to kill myself, just over work. And we, that's the, at the point where we decided, we decided to convert the car. And it's just funny, we just crossed the border and like that, all the depression and the problems were gone. And that's also one of the reasons why we wanted to do this live, because at, uh, um, at home there's such a pressure and people demanding things for you at work, at home, and we just want to be free and in this lifestyle we can be free and do how we want to do it. And then I think for you and for me as well, we get happy when we are in nature. We, we feel like we are at home in nature and I think that's also a, a big part of uh, your depression when you got over it. It's just you try to do stuff but when you are over here in nature you have the idea that you don't have to do anything and it's okay to do, uh, to do nothing. Yeah. And uh, at home you always feel like you have to do this or go somewhere there and uh, right here you don't have the, that pressure on your from yourself but also from friends family if you want to work we need to put the water potty away <laughs> I take this one out and then we have a we <laughs> over here <laughs> oh, and then this down down there you go honey you can go working and I will go cooking so that's it i work over here when i have it because my back hurts sometimes yeah you're old and i even made a place in the front but we show you later over here we created another working space you can put a laptop over here and this board is for put your mouse you can demonstrate and then i'll be working like this with a nice view who has that during my depression uh, I was a pastry chef and when we did this fan life we noticed uh, okay we want to do this but I can't make money with uh, being a pastry chef. Uh, but Sandra has uh, a good uh, history of designing. Yeah I, I started as a graphic designer and computer animator then I got sick of the computer and I became a florist in the events and then uh, Covid happened and there were no events so I lost my income so I, I got back to computer animation and graphic design and uh, at that moment we noticed okay maybe we can do this while traveling and uh, so I am uh, f the, the most of the income is coming from me and Jorian is right I'm now I'm homeschooling to do the same to help her with the stuff like organizing which she's really crappy about <laughs> I, that I can help her and then we do the same because you but can... But you also uh, want to make logos and you're also learning from that so he can... So we have the... we run the company together. Yeah, and I didn't thought... Uh, as a pastry chef you are creative with your hands and you make something out of nothing. And I realized on our journey, with on the computer it's basically the same. That you can make something out of nothing for a person. And I am creative and uh, I have a sense of humor. I think. Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, that way you don't have to save money and go on a holiday. We like to combine it and go on a 
Yeah, people call it a holiday, we call it traveling. So let me show you our best way of the van. We have PVC pipes which hold our glasses. PVC pipe, they use it for uh, draining water from the rooftops. Uh, here we have special thread plates in case we get stuck, which happens quite a lot, even with 4x4. Over here we keep our chairs and another PVC pipe, plastic pipe for the carpet. And we store all kind of shoes and oranges and food for fudge. Over here even more stuff. This is something we use maybe two times. <laughs> And we take it off in five minutes because it's it, it's too loud, too noisy. So we bring a lot of stuff that we actually never use, like a dino suit, for instance. Or uh, oh, we did use the dino suit, but yeah, we're gonna show it later. It's just stuff you don't need, but we just bring it. Yeah, people don't understand why we bring all that stuff with us if we don't have much space. But we really want to enjoy life too. Yeah, and, and this makes it so much. <laughs> don't do that. Why doesn't this break? <laughs> well, we have a solar panel over here. It just won't break! It's from China. But over here we have the solar panel. It's a 130 watt solar panel. And yeah, it charges the battery and we are full sustainable, I think. Yeah, a lot of people say, oh, no, I'm, I'm working really hard right now. I want a house, I want a big car. And when I'm 60 or 65, then I'm going to enjoy life. And then they die. Then it's too late. You need to enjoy life now. And yeah. um, what we like to say to people is, uh, we talk to a lot of people who say, well, I can't do that with my current job. No, and I'm then I say, he was a pastry chef and he is learning to be a graphic designer now. So if he can do it, then anyone can do it. And it's just your mind who needs to change. You need to know that you can do, uh, you can travel and work at the same time. It's just you need to change some things in your life and maybe take a course so you can do social media management or whatever. These days with COVID you can do anything. And people are maybe too greedy sometimes. They just want more and more money. And we are like, if we can uh, pay for our gas and our food and wine. Then we're just happy. We don't need much luxury or money, and oh. so we don't have to. We don't work that mo much anymore, and we enjoy more. So it's a win-win, win, win. Well, we, when we shower, we stand on this so we don't get messy. Over here is our 12 volt shower, which we hang up. Show you here in the in the hood. So yesterday we took a shower, but this is our 12 and a half liter water tank. We shower with the two persons. Put in the pump and the 12 volt thingy. So then we stand over here and put on the, the shower and we use biodegradable soap so we can you <laughs> <laughs> so we can shower outside and leave no trash uh, i think every people should experience two three weeks or a month in a van and then you appreciate having water or just going outside for the pee and then you see the stars and you forget the pee and just I think it's a life experience that you can uh, deal better with life I guess yeah and it, what you say it makes you appreciate uh, we are very uh, we are doing very long with our water so I was uh, I flew back uh, two weeks ago and I was taking a bath at home at my parents house and I was like Oh my god, this is 150 liters or something and we have 30 liters and we do one week with it and I am sitting in it and in one hour it's gone and you're kind of starting to think different about what you use and um, how to be uh, careful with what you use. Yeah. I think. 
So over here we have another sliding door, which has our very special rainbow table. It's very strong, by the way. <laughs> over here we have a barbecue and a safe to get uh, everything we have to save, because we don't want to get robbed. And over here we have our drinking water, 30 liters, wastewater tank, and uh, the shower water, filthy laundry, and behind this tank is our gas, the diesel from the diesel heater, and a small compressor from our refrigerator. If I went to the go to the toilet in the morning, this we do the human this hamburger. This happens, but then quite fast because he has some pressure on it. Go away! So like this, and I can sit in the toilet. Absolutely no privacy. No, sometimes in the morning when I need to do a number two, then uh, I. I throw all the cushions on Yorian and then I take my number two <laughs> and it's uh, yeah it's not nice it's uh, smelly and you have absolutely no privacy so um, but yeah, th that's yeah one but we are not the kind of people who say okay you need to go out of the van especially not in the morning I can't has ask him to go out of the van in his underwear just because I need to do a number two yeah but with van life you have to let go of your privacy basically yeah but also your safety because a lot of people think oh fan life is awesome and they all say oh you're having the life you're living the life and it's true but in a small van safety is also a big issue we had one time a drunken burglar inside on top of a mountain just out of nowhere at four o'clock in the night we had a guy inside and that can happen with fan life that's why we now have an axe over here <laughs> Can you see it? And then I have a... Before I hit him with the thing... I have an axe. It's for trees and for... Burglars. Burglars. <laughs> Drunken burglars. But yeah, you need to... If you do fan life, you need to be... Uh, be comfortable with... That. Okay. Hide <laughs> uh, the, the flash. <laughs> Stop yes. throwing shit away yeah. in the nature. Clean up your garbage. Yeah, clean up because oh, the places that we go, they are so messy and disgusting. And uh, especially with a dog, you know how many, how much stuff there is because he is always searching for something to eat, and he has a very good nose for human poop. He loves it. So. Are you talking about me or the dog? Oh, I th oh, we are talking about fudge. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but he really, he really loves to eat it. And it's disgusting that when we are in a place and you know that your dog is coming back and he's licking his mouth and you know... Uh, yeah, he did it again. There are people in the neighborhood have, who have been taking their number two. So take a toilet. It's not that hard. Or dig a hole and... It's not that hard to but cover also up Also when your you do mess. a nice picnic in nature, just take it all take back Take your with garbage, you. yeah. Mm -hmm.